Um, what you're also looking for is good communication with your affiliate management team. Um, am I, you need to be asking yourself the question, are my, response, um, are my inquiries being responded to? Does the program take my needs into consideration? And am, am I provided with the information I need to successfully promote? Um, a lot of things that we do for the programs that we work with is that we let affiliates know what the best converting banners are. It's good information if you are just having a small traffic site and you don't have enough volume to actually do this analysis, you can actually ask the affiliate manager to give you some insight into the program generally, which are what's the best concerning, uh, converting banners, what's the best day for conversion, um, what do they find are the best marketing techniques. So what's happening is that your affiliate manager, especially when you're new in the industry, becomes a wealth of information for you that you're actually able to capitalise on to make your site successful. So basically, not only do you have um, other affiliates in the industry that you can actually use as sounding boards for your different strategies, but you've also got your affiliate managers for the different programs. They're going to give you unique insight into that particular program and that particular operation, but all information at this stage when you're learning is, um, is great. Researching affiliate programs. Definitely ask for recommendations. But I suppose not only asking for recommendations um, and looking at the different forums that are out there, but also experience it as a player yourself. It's actually interesting that the most successful affiliates that we met at the, in the very early days, so sort of probably six or seven years ago, got into affiliate marketing with online gaming because they were actually interested in the games. They enjoyed playing them themselves. So what, they, what we found is that they are most successful with the products that they have the closest affinity to. So which means that they actually understand the, the um, insight of um, the different players if they're slot players because they understand what it needs to have a, to have a successful slot program. So they're actually able to communicate with the players or the traffic that come to their site. In all of the information about becoming an affiliate, really, content is king. Because what you're wanting to do, no matter how you choose to promote your site, whether it's through PPC, organic search, or your forums, having fresh content that your traffic or customers can relate to is actually going to give you definitely a step up on other people that are just basically got a, a website that looks good but doesn't actually have any content of any value. So these are definitely um, industry forums that, that you can have a look at um, and you can get in contact with the moderators on the forums and you can also get in contact with the owners of the forums um, to see, find out if you've got specific questions, they may be able to help you in different directions on resources, whether it be hosting, whether it be design, whether it be different marketing techniques, they can definitely help you with those things. Options for earning money. So when you become an affiliate, you've got different options on how you can create your revenue streams. So one is on lifetime player value, which is normally on a revenue share. You need to be looking at lifetime player value, especially if you're working on a revenue share. There's cost per acquisitions. There's a combination of revenue share plus cost per acquisitions. There's things like special bonuses um, that programs can put together. And these are the sort of promotions that you need to be looking for related to the affiliate program. And also there's sliding scales. So make sure that when you're actually signing up to an affiliate program that you look at all the details. Now, I understand this can be quite overwhelming when you're first starting, but you need to start somewhere and you need to be either putting together a spreadsheet or understanding the things that are going to be important to you so that you can start analysing the programs against one another on these important factors. And like we talked about before, it's going to be on things like terms and conditions, as well as revenue structures, as well as promotions. 
So it's just to keep this in mind when you're going through. Because really for you, it's your effort and your return. So you need to be making sure that in that process of you putting the effort in, that you're going to get the best return possible. Considerations when choosing a CPA versus net gaming revenue or um, a lifetime value with commissions. It's different sites have different player values because different types of customers like different types of software and different types of um, a retention strategies. So what you need to be asking the affiliate manager of the program that you're working with is basically what's your player value, how long are your players staying on the site? That will give you an understanding whether you're best working on a CPA basis or working on a revenue share basis. Um, how are you acquiring your players each month? So that would also give you an indication if you're paying, if you're actually acquiring your um, players through PPC, then you might find that you're looking for um, a CPA basis because you need to recoup your costs. But I think in any strategy that you've got related to becoming an affiliate, you should be looking at a balanced strategy where you're not just relying on one source of traffic through to your site to make it successful, where you're doing a combination of organic search, um, participating in different forums, whether it be your own or somebody else's, um, as well as things like PPC. And do the players that you send through to the site convert? And do you have a win-win for you and for the website? Those are the sorts of things that you need to take into consideration. And these are the sorts of things that the affiliate manager is going to take into consideration when they're looking at the revenue st uh, structures that they want to put you on. For example, a lot of times we actually recommend the programs that we work with don't use CPA for unknown affiliates because what it is is we're actually trying to protect the operators that we work with from affiliate fraud where people are actually just sending through incentivized or fraudulent traffic to um, make some money. So what we actually recommend is that in the first instance that actually um, affiliates only work with program on a revenue share basis so that you can understand, you get a more insight into the traffic that you're sending through to that operator or that brand. Other considerations that you have with payments, and these are the sorts of things that you need to be looking at with the terms in, in, in this cacophony of terms and conditions and commission structures and all of that sort of thing, is like thresholds. Are they achievable? Some programs ha set very, very high thresholds because they're expecting a lot of your attention before they're prepared to pay you out on the money that you earn. Some have very, very low. The other thing is different payment thresholds are different. Uh, usually set for different payment methods. For example, if you're going to get a wire transfer, the payment threshold may be 500 pounds, 500 euros, or even up to 1,000 euros. But if you're looking at more of an instantaneous payout through a money bookers or a net, um, net teller, or one of those processes, um, payment processing, the thresholds may be quite um, a lot lower. Look at the different also payment options, and this has got to do related to the business plan and how you're structuring your business plan and how you're actually reporting your income. There may be different ways that you can structure this that would be attractive for you as a small business moving forward. Um, one of the things to watch with like hawk-like gaze is how timely the affiliate payments are. That is one way for you to be able to tell well whether the program is um, credible or not, is if they're paying on at the same time each month. Now, I know some pay, um, programs pay incredibly early in the month, within the first five days. Some payments pay, um, pay a lot later. It sort of doesn't really, it would be preferable, of course, that you were paid earlier, but as long as they're consistent in what they're doing, um, then it gives you some indication of the longevity and professionalism of the program that you're working with. Going a bit more detail into detail um, about the terms and conditions, this is the legal contract that you actually have with the program. Um, sites like Affiliate Guard Dog are very good at um, showing you when the terms and conditions of a program have changed because not all programs publicise the change to their affiliate um, community. So you're wanting to evaluate items like affiliate compensation, payments, cookie durations, definition of lifetime players, um, policy on um, pay-per-click.